making a reasonable accommodation or modification request. If you are a person with a disability, it is your right under the Federal Fair Housing Act to request changes that meet your needs and to allow you full enjoyment of your apartment, including public and common spaces. It is important, however, to make the request to your landlord the correct way. What is a reasonable accommodation? Under the Fair Housing Act, a reasonable accommodation is a change, exception or adjustment to a rule, policy, practice or service that may be necessary for a person with a disability to have an equal opportunity to use and enjoy a dwelling unit. Examples of a reasonable accommodation include an assigned accessible parking spot for a person with a mobility impairment when typically parking spaces are not assigned or permitting a person with a disability to have a service animal in their apartment when the building's policy is that pets are not allowed. What is a reasonable modification? A reasonable modification is a structural change made to the existing premises in order to afford a person with a disability full enjoyment of those premises. The housing provider must approve of the modification before it is made, but it is a tenant who is responsible for paying for the costs of the modification. The housing provider may require funds be set aside to restore the housing unit to its original condition at move out, minus any normal wear and tear. If it is reasonable to do so, and the modification would hamper use and enjoyment by the provider or subsequent tenants. Examples of reasonable modifications include installing grab bars in the bathroom, widening doorways to allow for a wheelchair, or installing a ramp at the main entrance of the building. How do I make my request? The Fair Housing Act doesn't specify the manner in which a request can be made, but it does recommend that you send a written letter to your landlord detailing the barrier you face because of your disability and how you propose to remedy it. While you don't have to tell the landlord the nature or severity of your disability, there must be an identifiable link between the reasonable accommodation or modification being requested and your disability. A note from your doctor can help explain the need. You should be very clear in your letter what policy or structural barrier is interfering with your use and enjoyment, why it's a barrier, and what you are specifically wanting to see changed. It is your responsibility to request the accommodation or modification, not the landlord's to assume what is needed. You can ask for a written response to your request within a certain amount of time and be sure to sign and date your letter. Keep a copy of your letter and any other paperwork for your records. This page shows a sample copy of a letter of a request. Can my request be denied? It is unlawful discrimination under the Federal Fair Housing Act to deny a reasonable accommodation or a modification, but that doesn't mean any request you make has to be granted. If there is no disability-related need for the accommodation or modification, if providing it imposes an undue financial or administrative burden on the housing provider, or if it would be fundamentally alter the nature of the provider's operations, they can deny the request. Need more information? The links on this page will provide more information and resources. This concludes the video on making a reasonable accommodation or modification request.